Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder over at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about things to talk about with a guy. So if you're struggling to figure out what you should be talking about with a guy to make yourself more attractive to him, then this is the right place for you to be. So here's what doesn't work. Let's talk about a few things that doesn't that don't work that aren't attractive. The first one is guy topics, right? So I get so many women that come to me and they want to talk guy topics with guys, and and it, that can be a plus if the guy is into those guy topics, but it's rarely attractive. Like most guys won't be attracted to you for talking about guy topics. So I would just avoid, if you're not into guy topics, you don't need to learn about them and don't worry about that one at all. The second one is talking like a guy. And so a lot of times women will like put guys down or they'll like make fun of a guy because they had watched his friends do it or they watched other guys kind of make fun of each other. And, and this can actually be really unattractive if you do it too much. Uh, if you do it every once in a while, it can be kind of cute. Um, some guys don't like it at all. Uh, so it, that it's not it's definitely not attractive like it won't make you more attractive to a guy um, the third one is re relying on commonality so a lot of times there's this myth out there that you know commonalities will make you really attractive to somebody um, and, and that can be good for like a friendship developing a friendship with someone but it's not going to make you more attractive to a guy It'll make you it can make you closer to him as a friend, but it won't make you attractive to him. And the last one is expectation. So this is something that a lot of women do, and it can be really it can be a, actually a source of massive amounts of pain for both men and women. So I suggest that you stop doing it if you're doing it. And what it what it really is is expecting some type of response from a guy expecting or, or even worse expecting the response that you want from a guy that I mean it's just horrible this is just a very painful thing and and I suggest that if you do that um, and if you try to get that response and if you get angry about not getting that response that you just stop that altogether because that is so that is just some pain painful stuff right there uh, so what does work the first one is telling stories. Telling stories is really, really powerful for a number of reasons. Um, but really what they do more than anything is they can help you convey your values and convey who you are, convey your personality, convey things about you in a very attractive way. And so the things that you want to tell stories about are your values, right? Things that are important to you. What's important to you? What are some stories that uh, are about different topics and things that you've done or that you want to do or that's going on in your life that are important to you. Uh, the second thing is things that you've done that are exciting. So having a an exciting life, having an interesting life is um, can be very attractive to a guy. So if you have uh, things that you've done that are exciting, you can talk about those things um, and it can be very attractive to a man. And a third thing that you'd want to convey in stories is your uh, your personality and m more specifically the fem your feminine side. So having stories about times where you've been caring or nurturing can be incredibly attractive to a guy. Even if he's not consciously thinking about it, subconsciously it's going to bypass that conscious part of his mind and go back there and he's going to be like, wow, you know, this woman's really awesome. Uh, so the second thing that you'll want to talk about is things that he is passionate about. So um, find out what he's passionate about. Find out, uh, you know, if you're you're having a hard time getting a guy to talk, almost everybody will talk forever about whatever it is that they're passionate about. And this a lot of times won't be their job. It might just be some hobby that he has. Um, but if you talk to him about what he's passionate about, that can create a really strong connection. And you don't have to know anything about whatever it is that he's passionate about. You just have to let him talk and let him express himself and let him you know, talk about where he's going and what he wants and what he wants to see and all that kind of stuff. That can be really, really powerful. And then the last thing that you want to talk about is things that you plan on doing in the future that are fun and exciting. Um, like we talked about before, having an interesting life is incredibly attractive. And it's going to be a lot more attractive if 
you're already doing things that are interesting than if you're waiting for a guy to show up so that you can start doing those things. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.